Hey there, I'm Domin and welcome to the headquarters of Race Result here in Germany. Today I'm going to take you behind the scenes and give you a full walkthrough of the Ubidium production process from sourcing raw components to final testing and shipping. So let's head inside and have a look how it's built. Every Ubidium decoder starts with carefully selected components and that process begins long before anything is physically built. Our procurement team sources everything from high-performance microchips to display screens and baseboards from suppliers from around the world. In total, over 2,000 individual pieces are required to build one single Ubidium. The challenge? Managing supply chains, lead times and costs. A good example of this is our custom LCD screen. Existing options available on the market were too power-hungry have questionable readability in direct sunlight or simply wouldn't function correctly in the extreme temperature ranges where we know some events take place in. For those reasons, we opted to design our own screen and our procurement team handles the process. If you'd like to learn more about this display, be sure to check out the video linked on the screen. Once the components have been sourced, they arrive here at our warehouse. So once checked in, components are stored in a controlled environment, whether in our warehouse, like here, where we store the bulkier components, such as raw uh, housing components, batteries, displays, and other bulkier items, or, as is the case with small loose pieces like screws, bolts, connecting pins, cables, for instance, just to name a few, they are kept in a rotating shelved closet like this one, which delivers the required components basically at the press of a button. A big eye-catcher of the Ubidium decoder is its large screen. To ensure a watertight seal, the protective glass is glued onto the casing using a constant pressure force. This is why we use our robot for this step. It's more accurate. This robotic arm applies a line of glue to the glass and then uses a camera to inspect the application of the glue to make sure it is consistent before it secures the glass onto the casing, applying even pressure, ensuring a perfect fit and a tight seal every single time. The process is not quite finished immediately though, because the glue needs to set for at least approximately 18 hours, but even so we are able to comfortably produce about 45 finished cases per hour. At the same time as the Ubidium cases are being prepared, the internal components are built at the other end of the factory floor. This is where the real transformation happens. These plain circuit boards may not look like much yet, but they're about to become the brains of Ubidium. The first step is applying the solder paste. This machine uses a very fast precision process to apply a layer of solder to all the locations on the board, which will hold any of the thousands of individual pieces. The components are then placed onto the boards inside this pick-and-place machine. This machine is able to work on anything between a single and 180 circuit boards at the same time, depending on their size. Once all the components are in place, the boards need one last step before they are finished. The heat chamber essentially bakes the components in place and a few minutes later the boards are ready. We would be amiss though if we would just take these boards without checking them. First, the circuit boards are checked using this machine. A camera checks all the elements on the board and compares them with a defined reference. And should something be off, the offending board is manually inspected and fixed before the approved boards continue on their way to the second stop. We also need to make sure they are functioning correctly. And for that, we use especially constructed test benches where every electronic part needs to pass before they are finally approved and used in assembly. Even with all the automation available, some steps in the assembly process still require human hands. This is where Ubidium starts to take its final shape. But before any electronic parts can be placed into the case, some non-electronic parts need to be installed first. A gasket is applied to the edge of the case so that the top and bottom halves are sealed once they are connected. A brush to protect the in and out ports from dust and debris, as well as seals around the battery compartments, followed by the see-through covers and the locking screw, just to name a few. Yeah. 
Our production specialists then carefully place and connect internal components in a very specific order, ensuring all the connections are solid, secure the casing and perform quality checks to make sure everything is coming together as it should. At this point, every Ubidium also receives a serial number, which is attached to the case and programmed into the software itself. Once assembled, every Ubidium goes through rigorous testing before it's allowed to leave the assembly floor. Firstly, the firmware is updated to the latest version before a series of tests can commence. At the testing station, like this one, every function of the device can be put to the test, starting with all the buttons before moving on to the display, lights, every in and out port, GPS connectivity and of course the antenna connections, both active and passive the external SIM card reader, external antenna and both USB ports. All charging options are tested as well and only once all of these benchmarks have been passed, the last step is the battery capacity and charging cycle test. Every Ubidium then goes through a discharging and a charging cycle before it is finally approved for customer use. After passing all the tests, it's time for arguably the most important step, getting Ubidium into the hands of race timers around the world. Each individual unit is carefully packed along with a loop cable and a power cord. From here, they're shipped out to customers in over 100 countries, ready to be used at anything from a local 5K to major international races. And that's how an Ubidium goes from a collection of parts to the most advanced sports timing decoder in the world. Thanks for coming along to this behind the scenes look. Hope you enjoyed it. Keep exploring and see you at the next race.